What's up guys, welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Rust and its latest updates. Now a lot of people are experiencing FPS loss and just a shit show of a gameplay experience. Today I'm going to show you what you can do to get a better gameplay experience, a smooth gameplay experience, better FPS in your game and all you're going to need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. I'm going to go over some window settings and things you can do with your machine and then jump into the game and show you the best settings you should be using right now at this very moment. Something I just want to do is this over here. I just want to shout out every single member on my youtube channel for becoming a member and supporting my youtube channel it really means a lot to me it honestly does ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into this video all right ladies and gentlemen so the first thing i highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here you're going to click on the start button go to the, your settings gear icon and you're going to come inside here where it says window settings you're going to come to gaming go to game mode and make sure that you have game mode turned on right at this very moment with the latest update and everything i highly recommend that you keep this on it doesn't matter if you're running a low end mid tier to a high end machine go ahead and turn this on it can help for stuttering in the game from here you're going to go to graphic settings from here where you see it says hardware accelerator gpu scheduling i highly recommend you go ahead and turn this off if you have this turned on and you turn it off it is going to ask you to restart your machine but don't worry you can restart your machine after watching this entire video and you can go ahead and restart your machine because you're going to need to restart it in any ways once you're done with everything that i'm about to show you right from here you are actually going to add your game inside here now as you can see this one over here is the easy anti-cheat which is incorrect i just wanted to make an example that's why i added this here but i'm going to show you how to do this you are going to need to add rust inside here so you're going to add Rust inside you by clicking the Browse button and then make sure you go to Steam Apps, Common, and then Rust and then come inside this folder over here and then click on RustClient.exe and say Add. You're going to add this inside here and make sure that it actually says Steam Apps, Common, Rust, RustClient.exe and then you, what you're going to need to do is change this from Let Windows Decide to Options to High Performance and let it select your dedicated graphics card. You're going to say Save and then you're going to close out of this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, something that plays a very, very big role inside Rust itself and on your machine is this over here. I'm just going to show you. You're going to go to the search button and type in power plan, just like this, and then press enter. And it will open up like this. Now, you're going to go one back here at the top. You're going to go power options, and you're going to have your things over here that you've made. Now, I have a best plan for Rust. Now, if you've never done this before, I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to say create a plan, right? So this is your best power plan. You're going to say high performance, delete everything that's inside here, just like this, and say best Rust plan. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it best Rust plan and say next, right? You're going to say never over here, never over here, and you're going to say create. Now it's on that plan, right? You're going to say change plan settings, and you're going to go to change advanced power settings. You're going to come inside here. Now this plays a very big role on people's machines that are running this game on a normal hard drive, a mechanical hard drive, not an SSD, not an M.2. I run this game on a M.2 Sometimes I run on my SSD, my Windows is running on an M.2, but whatever your game is on right now, especially if you're running this game on a hard drive, you're going to delete everything that's inside you and put zero inside you and click on anything. So it will say never. It will say turn off hard disk after never. I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. I'm doing this and I'm running this game on an M.2. So I really recommend you do this if you're running this game on a hard drive. All right, from here, what you're going to need to do is scroll all the way down to where it says processor power management where it says minimum process state, make sure you have this on 100%. Just literally just type in 100% and then just basically click anywhere and it will literally apply it. From here, you're going to click on maximum process state and make sure this is on 100% as well. If not, make sure that you type it in yourself and then just press enter. Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this and that is for your Rust power plan. And I'm very sure it's going to help a lot of people out there that's playing this game on a laptop or even on a machine like me. All right, so the next thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is, and it plays a very big role in the game itself. You're going to right-click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. You're going to open up NVIDIA Control Panel like this, and you're going to come over here where it says Adjust Image Settings with Preview, and make sure you have this one checked that says Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, and you're going to click on Take Me There. It's basically going to take you to Manage 3D Settings over here, and all you're going to need to do is pause my video and copy all of the settings I have inside here. I do not want to go over each and every one why this is like this um it's going to make my video too long and i don't like like making too long videos in general people don't like long videos so all you're going to need to do is copy this settings pause my video copy everything i have inside you so 
your OpenGL rendering, you can select your GPU, prefer maximum performance, 100 gig on the shader cache, that helps with stuttering. This on, allow high performance with the quality, you can add this on, on, and then off, all right? The rest of the settings are just virtual reality things, you do not need that, and make sure you click apply. Once you're done with that, your screen might flash a couple of times, don't worry, it's just applying the settings to your machine. You're going to click on config surround and physics, and this is your physics over here. This is what your machine uses to push out graphics and physics in the game. So, I highly recommend you go ahead and select your dedicated graphics card you're currently running. Do not select CPU, do not select auto select. Make sure you select your dedicated graphics card and say apply if you haven't done this already. From here, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to come here over here. Now, you might have one monitor or multiple monitors, but you're going to select your dedicated monitor that you're running your game on, select it, click on it. It should be highlighted as your, your main display, which is the main display that you're currently running, which is this one over here. What you're going to need to do is you put your contrast at 65, brightness at 50% because you're going to change the brightness inside the game, not inside your NVIDIA control panel. All right. Contrast at 65%. This is going to be your own personal preference, the digital vibrance. Literally, if you turn this all the way down, you'll see your screen become black and white, your entire taskbar, your desktop, everything. It implements everything on digital vibrance, not just your game. But I highly recommend you go ahead and push this up to your own personal preference. Just push it over 50. So 65, 75, 85. Mine's on 95, it's a sweet spot for me, and I keep mine like this. Then all you're gonna need to do is say apply. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the game and let me show you the best settings you can use right now for Rust PvP and just in general, overall better gameplay experience and way more FPS out of your game by changing these settings over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now, and I'm doing about 100 FPS, and I'm running a 9700K water-cooled, overclocked, 2060 OC RTX, and it's overclocked as well, and 16 gigs of RAM overclocked as well, with shortened timing to make my games run smoother. That's my own personal rig. You all have your own different rigs. Now, this is the settings I'm currently using, and I'm just going to go to graphics, and this is the settings I'm currently using. Right now, at this very moment, this is the settings I'm using, and I'm doing about 100 FPS. Okay, I'm going to go to the image effects, show you that. I'm going to go over here, show you that. This plays a very big role, and I'm going to show you why it does. Now, this is my game before doing the optimization and before changing the settings to the best settings that you can. Let me show you the comparison. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the after I've changed to the optimal settings that you can use inside this game and as you can see i'm doing about 140 fps almost about 135 there around there you go as you can see 140 fps it hits at the 140 mark that's basically 50 fps more than what i originally was doing now i highly recommend you just go ahead and press the escape button go to graphics and copy all of my settings i have over here so all the way to zero 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 300 i don't know i'm trying to get that sweet spot of 300 over here but it's not letting me so i recommend 300 or 299 you should be good to go draw distance you do want this to be at 2500 otherwise the game's gonna look like absolute dog shit shadow distance all the way to 50 all the way to the bottom this all the way to one this all the way to zero on off on plus boost this can help you because with your gpu and your cpu rendering time it can basically pair up with each other much much faster much much quicker i highly recommend you put this on on plus boost this over here you're going to go all the way to three 100 100 10 0 0 and 0 from here you're going to go to image effects you're going to keep this at TSSAA. It's the best anti-analyzing that you can use inside the game. The rest are all off except the sharpening. Sharpening is very important inside this game. Please go ahead and leave that on. Experimental, you're going to come inside here. Turn this off, turn this off, turn this off, and put this on. What it's going to do is foster loading times. Foster loading times into servers, and I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel for your new year, and I hope this helped you for the latest update. As always, peace out.